We are following breaking news at 430 this morning. A three alarm fire in the French Quarter. That's right. It started in the attic of a hotel in the 800 block of Toulouse Street. Katie Steiner is live this morning with more information on this incident. Katie. Hey guys, so this all started at the Olivier House Hotel and when a fire breaks out in the French Quarter, a lot of people, especially the firefighters, get nervous because all of the buildings are just so close together. In fact, this hotel was had several buildings. There are four or five buildings that are all a part of this hotel. So that's why firefighters were concerned. In fact, at one point at the height of this fire, there were 63 firefighters that were out here trying to fight this fire. It all started at midnight last night, really around 11.58 and then they didn't get it under control until 2.15 in the morning. But it was all contained to just one of those buildings. It was really a, one of the buildings in the back there, so we couldn't see a whole lot of flames or fire in that area. And then it just was contained to that single building, but there is a lot of significant damage in that building. We talked to Chief McConnell last night, and here's what he told us about the tricky parts of fighting this fire. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. It's a conglomerate of buildings that's been put together. Uh, for this boutique hotel, and it's made it difficult trying to access and get in there. Now, Chief McConnell did say that his firefighters did a phenomenal job containing this fire because, again, when you're in the French Quarter, everything is so close together and this fire could have spread very quickly. Now, another thing, there were about 75 guests that were inside of this hotel. The hotel has put them all up in other hotels, and there were no injuries at all to report from this fire. Reporting live from the French Quarter, Katie Steiner, Eyewitness News. All right, Katie, we can still see one fire truck behind you. How active is this scene? Are firefighters still in there working on this building? There are. We've been seeing firefighters go in and out of the building, and there are two fire trucks as of right now. Obviously contained. We don't smell smoke. We don't see any fire or flames around here, and it doesn't look like there's any hoses that are going in. It just looks like firefighters are going through that building, making sure that all of the hot spots are good, and we can see lights inside the building as well, and that's all from their flashlights on the head. So we can kind of see where they are when they're going around the building, and we've been seeing firefighters go in and out. We've only been here for about 20 minutes, Shiba. All right, we're really glad to hear that everyone made it out safely. Thank you, Katie. Yeah, there's been a lot of damage done here at the Olivier House Hotel, and firefighters are still here. You can see them outside that door. We've been watching them go in and out of the hotel all morning long, and this was a three-alarm fire, and we actually got video from one of our viewers. Take a look at this. This is Derek Terry video from when that fire was happening. You can just see how big those flames are, and it took firefighters about two hours to get this fire under control. At one point, they had 63 firefighters out here trying to fight this fire, and guests started smelling smoke around midnight. That's when they called 911. We talked to Janelle Berman. She was up at that time. She smelled the smoke. She went and got her husband who was sleeping, and then they were able to to get out, but then they saw as the smoke was covering the only way that they were able to get out, so they had to go through it. Take a listen. We had to go toward the fire because we had no other way. So we went toward the fire, and as soon as we got to that wall of smoke, could not breathe. We were very lucky that it wasn't a long walkway. Uh, I couldn't see, couldn't breathe, and so I was bending way down trying to just keep the smoke out of my eyes and out of my mouth. And uh, we had one of the hotel employees, and they were wonderful, trying really hard to get everybody out as fast as they could. Had a flashlight to tell us which way to go. Now, there were 75 guests inside this hotel. They were all able to get out. There were no injuries reported. All of the hotel staff got off as well. And we talked to Chief McConnell here, and he told us that this fire was really hard to fight specifically because it was in the French Quarter. You've got a lot of buildings that are close together, and you have a lot of these old buildings. So they wanted to make sure that they were able to contain that fire, which they did, so that it didn't spread to any other fire, which is great news. This was contained to just the single building inside of that hotel. Hotel. Reporting live from the Forge Quarter, Katie Steiner, Eyewitness News. And thank you very much, Katie, and kudos to the New Orleans Fire Department for arriving and putting that fire out. And the hotel staff for spread. getting people to other hotels yes. so fast. And them Everyone's out. outside. All right, Katie, sound. thank you very much. There were 75 guests that were staying at that hotel last night, and they were all able to get outside. All of the hotel staff was able to get out as well, and then the hotel did put those 75 guests up at hotels all around the city and the French Quarter. Reporting live from the French Quarter, Katie Steiner, Eyewitness News. Nearby. Our Katie Steiner is joining us live from the scene, and this was a fairly uh, intense fire for a, for a little while. 
Yeah, and it burned for a very long time. We're here at the Olivier House Hotel, and now you are seeing guests come back in, and they're trying to get all of their things because everybody, when they evacuated last night, they had to leave everything in their hotel room and then come out. But take a look at some video from last night. This is from one of our viewers, Derek Terry. He's, you can see the flames, just how big it was last night. Now, it did take the firefighters about two hours to get this fire under control, and guests started smelling smoke about midnight. And we talked to one of those guests, Janelle Berman. She was up at that time. She was here for a wedding. She was looking through her pictures for that wedding, and she smelled smoke. So then she kind of looked outside, saw the smoke, so then grabbed her husband. They got out safely, but then they actually had to go through that smoke to get out. Take a listen to what she had to say. We don't seem to have that, but we'll hear from Janelle a little bit later. But one of the big things about any type of a fire in the French Quarter, the thing that makes firefighters so nervous, is all of these buildings are so close together. You're looking at the hotel right now. We can tell that there's about three different buildings that are all a part of this hotel. But as you know, in the French Quarter, everything is so close together. All of these buildings are so old, and a fire like this can spread really quickly. So we talked to Chief McConnell. He said that his firefighters did a great great job trying to really contain that fire to the one building which they did guys at one point 63 firefighters were out here fighting this fire reporting live from the French Quarter Katie Steiner Eyewitness News